Hi, my name is Ashok and today we are going to see the open activities which will be populated using the business configuration settings. As in the last session we have seen how to do the configuration. Once we have done the configuration, the system automatically pops a set of activities which has to be performed manually in the backend. So to do so, you have to select the business configuration work center and go to the implementation project. Once you select the implementation project, you will have a screen like this where you have to select the first implementation. So based on selecting the first implementation, the system automatically populates uh, the activities and the faces whatever has been involved and you have to click on open activity list. Now in this open activity list, you will see there will be a set of activities which has to be performed and based on which the system automatically populates all the work centers and the uh, preceding transactions. All, all the uh, process are correlated to this open activities as well as the business configuration. So as and when you set up the business configuration, there are, there are a set of questions which has been triggered in the business configuration based on which this open activities gets populated. So for our uh, <coughs> training purpose, I'm just taking uh, the activity called competitor. I just want to show you what is involved in competitor. Just select that and it will automatically take you to the particular screen. So when so in competitor there is a classification there are classifications uh, based on the competitor like it is a big thread medium thread low thread if you want to add one more uh, customization description for the uh, competitors you can click on add row and you can classify so this is how this open activities work so as of such i don't want to do that so I'll just click on delete and once you have done all this you can click on save and close or you can directly close it. So as uh, as we have seen the competitor now uh, we can go to the uh, next set of uh, competitor products yeah you can take this. So again here also you can add the comparison. The description the product description when you go into the competitor work center you will have an option to select the comparison code so uh, whether if you have in the business requirement that you, you want a different option of uh, selecting a code with a dis the different description then you just have to add the row and you just have to add the comparison code in the description and save it so this is how the customization of the uh, product uh, comparison and the descriptions are maintained in the backend. So once this is done, uh, you have almost like uh, uh, almost like 117 activities. This 117 is not the actual count. It it might vary based on the business needs. This uh, configuration of the business, uh, whatever you have done in the initial setup, it populates this count. So based on the completion of this, you you can activate the uh, work centers and the preceding uh, setup in the backend. So the backend is nothing but this activities, whatever has been performed. So you can see if you want uh, to. Uh, some pro uh, some activities may not get populated since they are not in project. So most of the most of the uh, activities are in. So every time whenever you uh, you want to do some changes to the backend of this uh, activities, you have to add it to the project. Then after which only the system will uh, allow you to make some changes to the particular activities. So since now uh, I have already by default added all the uh, activities in the project, so it is allowing me to make the changes. So I have just gone into the partners, so I can classify the partners based on my business needs. So it, it all relates to the uh, setup of our customization 
of our uh, classification for the transaction purpose. So it all depends on the uh, business needs. So if your business requires an additional classification, you can go to the back end and you can set it. So same way that for the other uh, transactions like opportunities, sales forecasting categories and etc. You can just go into each of the activities and you can just uh, play around with this and check what all the feasibilities the system is providing and through which you can make some changes or you can add or you can delete. So this can this can be uh, a very good exercise uh, which has to be performed uh, at the time of implementation. Without, without completing the open activities, the system cannot be set up. So it is a mandatory that an activity should be completed. If it is not required, you can just simply go and remove it from project. So it is very simple. So thank you for watching this video and do like, share and comment. And if you have any doubts, you can uh, always reach at me and you can comment so that I will reply. Thank you guys.